The internet and computer technology change not only how we communicate, but our everyday lifestyle as well. Today in What's New, we'll take a glance at how cutting-edge technology is being used in the home to change and to improve our lives. Leading this evolution towards an era of smart homes is Microsoft Corporation, among the world's leaders in dynamic applications of high technology. Let's take a look at the home of the future as designed by innovative engineers and scientists of Microsoft. Welcome to the Microsoft Home. As Robin arrives home from work, there's no more fumbling with keys because her motion starts the entry process. All Robin does is look into an eye scanner. She could also use a voice or fingerprint to be let in. Robin is recognized by the scanner. The front door unlocks and opens. As Robin enters, she just touches Welcome Home on the nearest wall panel, so the house is set just the way she likes it. There is one new voice message from Chris at 5.23 p.m. While Robin is listening to the house report, the lights come on to preset levels. Music comes on. The shades are raised. Messages are played. Everything in the home is connected together and does whatever Robin and her family told the house they want to happen. Hi, hon. I'm on my way now to pick up Alex. I'll be home soon. And I'm um, sorry, I know it's my night, but can you start dinner? Okay, see you. Bye. Before Robin starts to prepare dinner, she wants to see if everyone in the family will be home in time. She can check the entire family schedule, but just to be sure, she sends her daughter Jessie a message. For Jessie, who's on her way home, it's just a simple matter of reading the message, then touching yes on her pocket PC. Back at home, Robin started dinner, but finds she's missing garlic, a key ingredient. So she brings up a map, which shows just where her husband Chris's car is at the moment. She wants him to stop and pick up the garlic. Using the home's name, she places a call using the home's network communications. Astro, call Chris in the car. Yeah, hi, I thought you'd be calling. You're not upset about dinner, are you? No, that's okay. You can just cook a couple of extra nights for this one. Hey, it looks like you're right by Tom's Gourmet. It's two blocks up on your left-hand side. Will you do me a favor and pick up some of that garlic that I like in the jar? I'm making spaghetti tonight. Okay, right. Well, I'm picking up Alex, too, so I'll be home in a few minutes. While cooking dinner, Robin sees they're out of a few other things. She scans them into an electronic shopping list, which will be sent via the internet to an online grocer who will schedule the delivery. Or she can just toss the empty items out. A connected waste basket will add them to the shopping list. When the rest of the family gets home, there are many ways the house makes life easier. Dad might want to change the lights and turn on the news in the family room. He can control any room from anywhere in the house. Jesse, meanwhile, starts to practice the piano. It's connected to the house, too, and can tell if her favorite show is coming on in a few minutes. It seems the TV wins out again. Her brother Alex has started his science homework. His microscope view is displayed on the monitor, where he can get a much better look at what he's studying. In the kitchen, Robin just about has dinner ready. Astro, add butter to the shopping list. The cooking period is done. The stove, a smart appliance on the network, can send a notification to anyone, anywhere in the house. Alex sets the scene in the dining room by selecting family dinner from a wall panel. Besides setting lights and background music, this turns off the phone, unless grandma calls, that is. The home can help protect the family's peace and quiet or control interruptions. Tonight, a salesman comes to the door. He can only leave a message because the family dinner setting means do not disturb. After dinner, Dad decides to watch the news in the entertainment room. The kids, however, want to watch something else. Dad, we want to watch our movie. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, I'll set you up in the family room. Yay! Dad pauses the news and brings up the family room. From the on-screen video guide, he and the kids can choose what they want to watch from any different source already in or coming into the house. DVD, the web, cable, whatever. 
they don't have to figure out which device it's on or how to control it. It's all in the same list. Robin, meanwhile, is in the home office, where she has the same control over every aspect of the house from the PC, including heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. As the evening winds down, Mom's reading a wireless ebook. Dad's checking the weather on the web phone, which also can talk to the house. He arms the security system and turns out all the lights with a simple touch. Astro, good night. So you've seen how Robin, Chris, and the kids have the convenience of electronic lists, instant communication between family members, control over household settings and interruptions, as well as easy access to all kinds of information and entertainment. It's all powered by great software in this connected, convenient, and fun home. Well, what an interesting approach to design a home. I want to thank Microsoft for this fascinating look at the shape of things to come.